Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Fake Bougie. I am so, so, so excited for this video. I'm going to finally be showing you all the reveal, AKA the after <laughs> for the bedroom and closet updates that I did in my Chicago apartment slash condo. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This video is a little bit longer than my typical videos, but it is because like I have so much to show you guys. If you didn't catch part one, it will be listed below, but let's get right into it. Okay, so unfortunately I wasn't able to fully do everything the way I described because if you haven't been watching my videos and you might not know this, if you have been watching my videos and you know that I got a house in Georgia, yay. So I'm moving very, very soon. I found this out like in the middle of redoing my room. So I had already ordered everything like the new bed and mattress and rugs and just different stuff like that and i had already ordered um you know everything from my closet to update that as well so i mean i was like i might as well do it and enjoy it while i can but still find a way to repurpose the stuff in my new home but for that reason i didn't think to um finish doing the side tables because i'm not going to be taking them with me um, same thing goes for the desk and a few other pieces. So I still wanted to give you all the update of what I was able to do. And so I hope you enjoyed it. So the bed itself, absolutely love it. Ended up getting it from Wayfair and I'll, um, you know, like have the price and the name of it below. It wasn't expensive at all. Very inexpensive, really great price. I actually love the bed. It is pretty sturdy. It was very easy to put together it maybe took me like an hour by myself putting it together and i will say my only complaint is that it does squeak a lot so you know if you get this bed and you plan on you know doing some extracurricular activities in it this might not be the bed that you want so the reason that i ended up getting this style bed which is a canopy bed is because I, I just feel like everybody has a tufted bed like that. It's so not played out, but it's so overdone now. And I do like to do things a little bit differently, especially when it comes to my home. I like my home to be like my safe space, my chill zone. And I like it to be a little different. I want it to be a little unique. So I don't want something that, you know, everybody else has. Like I want it to be an expression of me and who I am. I did the tufted bed look for like five years. I had that bed from when I was in college to when I was doing my internship to when I became an entrepreneur like all in that five year time frame and so just being in a new space in life and just trying to bring in that newness you know and switch things up I thought this bed was really cute it definitely gives queen vibes just completely something different and it makes the room to me look a lot better too the one downside is this bed doesn't have like a headboard so to say but they do have this style that comes with the headboard like um panel right here and they also have the tufted look in combination with this so whatever you're going for you know if you want to get this bed it works this comforter that i got well this duvet it is silk or satin one of them and it is so so slippery <laughs> 
So I had like satin sheets, satin pillowcases, like everything was satin. And I didn't realize it would be so hard to sleep on. The one thing that I did like is that it keeps you cool. So if you're hot body or something like that while you're sleeping or you like to be cold while you sleep is good for that. But other than that, you will slip and slide, like especially the pillows because the sheets were satin and the pillowcases were too. It was just a hot mess. Like I would wake up and all the pillows would be over here on the floor. <laughs> so I had to switch it up and get, um, you know, like the regular pillowcases for my pillows. I have regular sheets on the bed, of course. See if you all can see it instead of the satin sheets. But I do still use the satin um, comforter, well duvet. And I also have a regular you know solid white comforter sitting on my bed bench which i use that sometimes too and just to you know protect my hair when i'm sleeping i do still have the satin pillows they're good with regular cotton sheets it's when you have the satin pillows in combination with the satin sheets it's no good um i ended up keeping the curtains that i already had just because it complemented the aesthetic i have a couple different maybe like two or three different gold tones in the room so i feel like having the curtains a little off gold like a brassy color actually works really great um the chairs are beautiful absolutely love the seating section that i ended up doing over in the corner i think it looked really good um i have chilled over there a couple times i've done live streams in that area and it's just a really good just chill area like my room isn't huge but it is a nice size so even if you do have like a little small corner or nook like that that's a really good idea for the bedroom um the mirror so the mirror that i ended up making myself i do i like i will never get rid of that mirror just because i did it myself and it's so huge but i ended up not doing the light thing with it just because like i said i'm moving and it was a little complicated so I'm just going to keep it as is. I'm not sure if it's going to go in my bedroom at the new home or if it's going to be in another room or like in my daughter's room. I haven't really figured that part out yet, but it is definitely coming with us. I am a little upset that I wasn't able to, you know, get to the desk and the side tables because it would have just looked, even though I'm only going to be here for a couple more months, it still would have looked so bomb, but you know, it's okay better things are coming in the future at the new place um and because all this stuff is new it is not going to waste it is coming with me um my daughter wants a parisian themed bedroom so she will get this bed um one thing i also decided to keep and incorporate are these little i don't know what they're called like the little lantern boxes i got these from walmart a couple years ago actually at my old apartment and I just thought they were super cute. Um, I'm gonna find a way to incorporate them in my new home too, because the colors are um, black, gold, and emerald. Those are my design colors um, throughout the space. So I think I'm gonna find a really good spot for these. And so I have one on each side of my bed. I actually have another one in my living room, so I have three. But for the bedroom space, I just wanted to use two since I don't have lamps on my nightstands. I thought that would be just a cute little um, decorative touch. And I thought it was, you know, still a little unique, a little different. And so now I want to show you all the updates I did to the closet.
So I was super, super, super excited to add the doors to the closet, just change the whole aesthetic of the room. And one thing that I wanted to point out is these handles and I'll have a close up for you guys too, but these are so cute and I'll have the link to where I got them um, off Amazon in the description box below, but super affordable. These just make it so easy to just get the doors open versus having smaller ones. And I love that they are so long. Just the length of them kind of adds to the design touch a little bit. And I just thought it was super, super cute. The one hard thing was definitely making sure they are all lined up. Like I am a carpenter's daughter, but <laughs> I'm like, it just surprises me the stuff that I'm capable of. But I love that I can have my clothes hidden when I want it and have it, have it open when I want it to be too. And these doors are not permanent. Like I can take them off whenever I want to, if I want to go back to the open closet look. I will be posting a closet tour soon. The only reason that I hadn't done one yet is just because I was never finished with the closet. Like it was always something I wanted to add, something more that I wanted to do. But now that I'm about to move, it's like now or never. <laughs> and then when I move, I'll have an updated, you know, closet video for you guys. But for this space, I do want to make sure that I give you all a tour of how I had this set up because this like was and still is my dream closet. Um, the I can't picture the closet at the new house being as amazing as this is. And it's really sentimental to me because even though this was expensive, like it's mine. So just knowing that you did something yourself, actually put it together yourself, bought it yourself, all that. It's such a goal and it's such an accomplishment. Um, some people might not look at this, you know, as a goal or an accomplishment. I definitely do because it was something that I've always wanted. Um, I've always been super into closets, like walk-in closets and all that stuff. So I don't know. This just meant a lot to me. And it is, this is going to be the hardest part of leaving this um, apartment. My little condo is just not having this beautiful closet anymore like oh it's so bittersweet but back to showing you all the updates the reason i picked out these doors um my kid has so many different options to choose from but i really wanted these because of the paneling little stuff just adds a big impact when you're designing or redecorating a space or decorating you know for the first time in general so having the panel doors, this is decor, you know, of itself. And then had adding the handles, but not only handles, the extra long handles, another, you know, decor thing. One thing I also wanted to point out is clearly, obviously, I didn't end up getting this painted. As you all know, as I showed you all in the before video, the cabinets that are over on this side were actually over here on the wall and when I first painted the room I only painted like around where I wanted the cabinets to be behind any of the stuff in this closet there is no paint there's only paint like on the outside like the trims <laughs> but I did add these I definitely definitely come in handy the one thing that I love about these is that they do move around so when I do need to open this cabinet over here, it's actually very accessible. I just, you know, there's a shoe rack over here for when shoes are incorporated in the video, obviously. I use this area when I'm YouTubing to um, not only film the videos, but to sometimes just have stuff picked out. Or even if I'm not doing anything YouTube related, if I'm just planning outfits or if I'm going on vacation and I'm putting pieces or outfits together, I do it in this area right here so I can do the shoes and the outfits and like see, you know, like what matches up and what doesn't. So if you have space in your closet, even if you don't have a, you know, walk-in closet, like I did with this room you can definitely still put that in your bedroom or in the smaller closet space that you do have those can actually go on the back of a closet door if you wanted it to so all of 
I'll actually make a closet organization video and show you all like a lot of the stuff that I did in this closet that can easily be done in a smaller closet too. Because best believe before, you know, I became a, a semi-rich bitch <laughs> and got this closet, um, I had regular size, you know, closets. I've never had a walk-in closet until I moved to Chicago. So definitely can still show you all minimalist ways to organize your closet and have room and make the most of the space that you do have this is also another piece that i got for the closet the update updated closet and it's definitely come in handy so i get my laundry done through a laundry service so when they bring the laundry it's already like folded and everything but i go ahead and put it on hangers so as you all know i don't really fold any of my clothing and stuff like pajamas and swimsuits stuff like that so it's nice to have everything put up on hangers so then I can go and you know organize it and put it where it goes and I will show you all more of my organization for my closet in the official closet tour video coming very very soon <laughs> if it's already out it'll be in the description box below but I will also say having hangers is something that I really enjoy about this closet. Not just hangers, obviously, but hangers that match. So the colors of the closet are kept the same, which is pink, gold, and white. And so for my pink, I have my hangers, pink and rose gold. And then my island in the middle is um, pink as well including the wall so I just thought that was a really nice touch with switching this closet space up I also wanted to make sure I declutter decluttering is so so important to me so as you all know whether your closet is big or small it still has a limited capacity on getting stuff and putting it in the closet so I really had to get rid of a lot of the stuff that I know I don't wear and don't need, don't use so that I can make room for new items or just to have it not look so cluttered. Like I hate when things look cluttered. And even though having a lot of clothes is nice and fun and it gives you options, having clutter isn't cute at all. So I wanted to make sure that I could still like move stuff around as I'm looking for something to wear. Like if everything is stiff, that makes it harder to put it up and take it out. And that's just a headache within of itself. So just being able to open the doors and just have everything organized and laid out the way that I want it is such, you know, a breath of fresh air. Absolutely love it. And I just love the feeling of opening these doors and closing them. <laughs> so I also decluttered and organized my shoes. So all of the shelves were like stacked to capacity with shoes from heels to sneakers to sandals. You name it. I had too much of it. And so everything that I didn't wear or just couldn't find a use for or just didn't really care for anymore. Ended up just getting rid of it and donating and... I just love that it's less stuff like you don't need so much stuff and I'm starting to realize that so the shoes as well as the heels and sandals definitely got decluttered decluttering it made it a lot easier to organize it by color and color coordinate which is amazing especially when you're trying to piece together outfits looking for stuff to wear color coordinating is great which i will have more of that information in the closet organization video so stay tuned for that and also with my handbags i ended up color coordinating those as well at first i had them organized in the before version of my closet i had them organized by brand but then i started getting like more and more bags and so it's kind of still a little bit by brand, but more so colors. So like my Gucci bags, I have those together because the pattern is similar. And then like some of my Louis Vuitton bags are together because, you know, again, the pattern is similar. It's the same color. But other than that, I really tried to make sure everything else was color coordinated just to match with the, you know, flow with the rest of the closet. Um, I also added a belt little organizer as well so in that area also color coordinated but i just needed space for my belts and i originally bought the drawer for belts but i didn't have enough i ended up getting a lot of those off shein some are gucci or whatever but um 
I love having the belts laid out to where I can just pull open the drawer and pick out the belt that I want to use. Same thing with my sunglasses. Like I love having them on display. And I got these organizers also from Amazon. I'll have it listed below. And just the only thing I still need to do is organize the perfumes and stuff. But I'm about to go. So that's not really important. It's all about to get packed up <laughs> and shipped to the new place. So that really doesn't matter the last thing i wanted to touch on for the closet update was the rug so i got the same rug for my bedroom and for the closet space it's actually the same size too i got this from amazon i believe everything that i got came from amazon or wayfair and i will definitely put all the links if i can find them below for you guys if not it'll be like something comparable something similar so the two rugs that I got for the spaces were pretty affordable and they did have different colors, different sizes, but I wanted to pick something that wasn't like too big. So for the bedroom, um, I didn't want a rug that fully went under the bed. I wanted it to just add like a little designer's touch to it, just make it to where it goes with the bottom of the bed and the bed bench area. And same thing with the rug in here. I wanted it to basically highlight a certain area, which is the island area. So I made sure that there's room on, you know, the sides of it, but I still wanted the focal point to be the island area. Just like in the bedroom, I want the focal point to be the bed bench. And when you do your rug in that way, it kind of draws the attention to that space. So, Overall, I'm super satisfied with the updates that I did, even though I didn't fully get to do everything that I wanted to do just because, you know, surprise, I'm moving, but I'm still really loving what I was able to get done. One thing that I also wanted to do was um, spray paint this gold, but again, I'm moving. There's no point. I don't even think this is going to fit <laughs> in the new closet, like the... the I, I can't even explain to you all like how the closet is set up in the new place, but just look out for a updated closet tour um, or the empty house tour that I'm going to do. And if it's already out, it'll of course be listed in the description box below. But yeah, this is everything that I was able to do. I hope you all like it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this update, be on the lookout for the pantry update that I did in this apartment. And I'll be doing a new pantry tour for the new place too. So just stay tuned for those things. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. As always, stay bougie.